his name was Jordan Rutledge. I met him when I started working for a local school district. He was very competitive and he enjoyed playing sports and so I started asking around to see if there were some sports that maybe that he could participate in because he was using a power wheelchair. And when I found out that he liked power soccer, the first question I asked was, what is power soccer? I have no idea what that is. And so I sort of went on this quest to figure out what that sport was. Eventually, I was put in contact with some people up in the Bay Area who have a very large following and very involved in the sport, um, involved in the United States Power Soccer Association, which is the, our kind of overseeing organization nationally. And he helped me to start some clinics here in Fresno so that we could bring out players and see if there was interest for a team. Nikki started the league. And Nikki's a wonderful person, but she's a dancer, not a coach. <laughs> They're competitive kids. They want to win. Period. And so they wanted the they wanted a coach to coach them to win. Tim's over on that side. You need to do whatever you can to get to that side as fast as you can. While he's hitting the ball, just run right by the ball. I've been playing this for I think I believe this is my fourth season. And then we came out here one time. It was we our jaws dropped because you know, it looked really fun. You know, we knew that there were three or four players who were very interested in coming out to play, and uh, there was just a big learning curve for myself, uh, for you know, being um, not very involved in soccer and not really understanding the sport very much. Um, also, being new to nonprofit um, and adaptive sports, it was just really sort of trying to surround ourselves with people who could help us, who had already done things like this, that came alongside us and, and then kind of showed us what they were doing. It also took donations of power wheelchairs and materials um, because at that time we were making plastic adjustable soccer guards for the chairs and so we needed to get our hands on materials, have somebody who would able, be able to cut the material for us and help us make the guards and so it was just sort of word of mouth really asking people, hey, do you know somebody who can do this? Um, hey, can you help us do this? Um, and then, like I said, there were a lot of people that came alongside me to really help me and encourage me and give me kind of a broader understanding of what we were trying to accomplish with the team. It took a while. You know, you're still learning. You're all, there's always more to learn. You can't be a perfectionist.